Well, there are new audio recordings from the site of the attempted assassination on President Trump earlier this summer in Butler, Pennsylvania. Scripps News has obtained the 911 calls from the event where a gunman opened fire, killing a member of the crowd while taking aim at the former president. National investigative reporter Lori Jane Gleha has the recordings and what they reveal. Take a look at what happened. Oh. The Trump assembly, and there's a guy shooting. Okay, he's, he's been shooting at the place. Multiple phone calls poured into the Butler County 911 dispatch center this past July. In the moments after, a gunman opened fire on a political rally for former President Donald Trump, killing one person. Gunshots Where at the Trump rally. Yep, Gunshot. the, the police are on the way. Well, you better get, better get over here quick. Scripps News and two other organizations, NBC News and The Intercept, filed lawsuits to obtain these recordings. For the first time, we're hearing first-hand accounts from the chaos on the ground. Many people were calm. Yeah, they just tried to kill President Trump. You okay. might want to make okay. a note of that. Others called 911, trying to track down their loved ones, including one woman reporting that her husband was shot, but she couldn't find him. Page 74 was shot at the Trump rally. Okay. Paramedic serviced him. I called Butler Hospital. He's not there. They told me to call 911. Can you hold on one second for me? Please. Don't hang up. I won't. Of the 15 recordings we received, no callers reported advanced sightings of the shooter. He fired multiple shots at the president while perched on a nearby roof before a Secret Service sniper killed him. Lori Jane Leha, Scripps News.